Your news now. Welcome back to News 12. Now this morning we have our friends from the Chattanooga Zoo here and they brought a big snake. Big snake. <laughs> now yes. I'm taking one for the team here because Kay is <laughs> terrified of snakes. I'm getting better, Chip. I really am. I'm trying to get better. They're beautiful, beautiful creatures. Chip is terrified of snakes. So. Chip does much better handling snakes than I do. And uh, Perry <laughs> is great yeah, at it. Good morning. Oh, thank you. Who do we have? This is Magic. This is Magic. Magic is a carpet python. They're from the um, continent Australia. They can actually be found all over the continent um, in multiple habitats. With his beautiful markings, he would be found in a forest or rainforest habitat with all this green so that he could camouflage. You can see his blue tongue. He's coming out. To smell you, they hey, have buddy. the really cool organ called a Jacobson's organ that actually lets them uh, catch their scent. So we have our nose, they have their Jacobson's organs, little air particles get on their tongue and they take them back. As a matter of routine, what does he eat other than anything he wants? Yeah. Uh, seriously, <laughs> what's his zoo, ideal diet? At the zoo, we give him a perfectly sized rat, um, but out in the wild, they would be able to catch anything from birds to small mm -hmm. mammals, even marsupials, since they would be from Australia. I want to touch. So right two here. fingers right here, yeah. Wow. And, and how much does Magic weigh? Magic weighs about, I'd say, 12 to 15 pounds, but he feels like a lot more than that. <laughs> I'm sure. Because he he's just dense muscle. All snakes are really, really dense muscle. They're mm -hmm. pretty much a tube of muscles to be able to get around. So, And Perry, he is one of the ambassador animals. It's so funny because, yes, Chip has told you that I get scared of snakes sometimes. But Me too. my son loves great. coming to the Chattanooga Zoo and seeing all of these ambassador animals. And they have no fear. And they, which is wonderful, you're learning yes. about the animals and the creatures and their habitats. Absolutely. So, Magic is an animal ambassador, so you would only be able to see him, well, today, because we love you guys. <laughs> and if you were to have an educational program, which is one of our mission, uh, part of our mission at the Chattanooga Zoo, to inspire people to preserve wildlife. And we do that through our field trips. Field trip programs, we always bring out special animals, and we even have zoo to you outreaches. Wow. Magic is not as cold as some of the other snakes <laughs> that you guys have brought here in the, yeah. in, in the past. Why? Well, they do get their temperature from the room, so mm -hmm. I would say it is a little warm in here today. Plus, his whole body's kind of wrapped around my backside, <laughs> so he's feeling some of my heat. Now, <laughs> I asked you that before we came on the air for this segment, that he is wrapped all around mm -hmm. your hips. Why? Is that a security safety thing for him or for you? It's mostly for me at this uh, point, just because he is six feet, and I'm only like five, two and right, three quarters. Right, so absolutely. So, for me to be able to know where all parts of his body absolutely. are and make sure that he's in a comfortable setting in this. So, uh, sitting position where I'm normally standing with him. So magic is taller than you are. He is, yeah. Wow, amazing. <laughs> Beautiful Magic's creature. Magic's a big, big snake. Yes, yes he is. Carpet yes. python. Carpet python. So they have that name because if you look at all of his beautiful markings, mm -hmm. it reminded people of oriental rugs. Right. So we named him Magic because we thought Magic Carpet was pretty clever, but we kind of sure. have a nerdy sense of humor. So. <laughs> Marianne, thank you so much. We have got to run. We I'm going to go play and learn about magic. Mm, okay. You do well, the rest. All right. Well, stay with us, everybody. We have a look at today's top local stories coming up after the break. Plus, we are live out on East 20th Street. A lot of rain on the roadways. Please be careful when you're out traveling this morning. We'll have the very latest coming up after the break.